Welcome to Waikato University. It's a little odd that I should be welcoming you to Waikato University because I am not actually there myself yet. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Jonathan Scott and I am to become the Foundation Professor of Electrical Engineering over there starting in the upcoming semester. I am coming to you from California through some of the wonders of modern electrical engineering including the pocket video camera, the internet and hopefully your end, the projection television. I should tell you some things about me. I grew up in Sydney. I studied physics and electrical engineering at Sydney University and I taught for some years later at Sydney University. After that I worked for a time at RF Technology which is a company in Sydney that makes private mobile radio equipment. At the end of that I moved to California and I took a job with Hewlett Packard. Now when I was an undergraduate we thought Hewlett Packard was the company that engineers got to go and work at when they died if they'd been good. It was absolutely technical heaven. And for eight years I had run the advanced measurement laboratory here at the Microwave Technology Center in California. And it's been a fantastic experience. However, it's time for a change. And so I have accepted the challenge of starting a first class electrical engineering degree. And I can't think of a better place to do that than a young, vibrant, growing university in a college town, in a country that's reinventing itself and coming on to the global high technology trading stage. New Zealand, like Finland, has reinvented itself in the last couple of decades and it's really become a globally significant country with a strong technical background. So, why do electrical engineering? And you've probably looked at the professions, law and medicine and the other two that typically get discussed with engineering. And you probably noticed that lawyers and doctors make a lot of money. So why would you want to do electrical engineering? Well, it's because it's fun. Electrical engineering is part DT science, part detective work, and always diverse. You could be installing motors the size of houses in power stations. You could be designing pacemakers or cochlear implants for use in human bodies. You could be designing radar or radio for aircraft navigation. You could be designing mobile phones. You could be designing traffic lights, washing machines. Even cameras these days are mostly electrical engineering. You could be programming something like the embedded computer that's inside my electric toothbrush. There are plenty of exciting things to do in electrical engineering. Electrical engineering is the core of modern manufacturing and it is the vehicle of the IT and information industries. It's also going to be very important to continue the transformation of New Zealand into a global high technology trading force. So, this is a wonderful new electrical engineering program starting at Waikato and I earnestly urge you to consider joining us I guarantee that you will have a fun career and that you will enjoy going to work in the mornings. I don't hear terribly many lawyers telling me that. You are now going to have four talks. A very brief history of physics and engineering. Seeing distance, who is in front of whom. Transistor to system on chip in 50 years, helping us to entertain and network. And what does the future hold? Thank you.